the Bloodborne Pathogens Refresher for 2023. Biomedical waste is defined as any solid or liquid waste which may present a threat of infection to humans. This includes blood, blood products, body fluids, discarded sharps, laboratory and veterinary waste, non-liquid tissue. Biomedical waste includes used absorbent materials, such as items that have been contaminated with any solid or liquid that may cause a threat of infection to humans, visibly contaminated with blood, and is saturated but have dried. Biomedical waste includes non-absorbent disposable devices that are contaminated with any solid or liquid waste that may cause a threat of infection to humans and are not treated by any approved method. Body fluids includes those fluids which may have the potential to harbor pathogens such as HIV and hepatitis B viruses. Secretions shall not be considered biomedical waste unless visibly contaminated with blood. This includes items that may have saliva, sputum, sweat, tears, urine, or vomitus. Sharps include objects capable of puncturing, lacerating, or otherwise penetrating the skin. These could be needles, scalpels, contaminated broken glass and hard pa uh, plastics. Universal precautions to take include procedures to prevent transmission of BBP when providing first aid or health care or when cleaning up bodily fluids, hand washing after exposure or cleanup, using gloves, goggles, and face shields, safely remove gloves and place them in an approved container, know the proper method to remove potentially contaminated gloves, and you can refer to the Safe Schools training on bloodborne pathogens for more on proper glove use and disposal. Only trained custodial staff using appropriate personal protective equipment should attempt to clean up following a potential bloodborne pathogens exposure involving bodily fluids or sharps such as needles or broken glass. Use a disinfectant and disposable equipment Place in a sealed biomedical container. Never compress trash with hands. Always treat blood and bodily fluids, even if dried, as contaminated. With respect to exposure and vac vaccines, report any possible exposure immediately. HPV vaccines are available and paid for by the district for high-risk employees to include custodians and health assistants. Contact the school nurse or risk management. For a biomedical plan, each school has a written biomedical exposure plan. Ask your health assistant about your school's blood-borne pathogens plan. And that concludes our update on blood-borne pathogens.